we're on the upper bristlecone pine trail headed for the connection with the bonanza trail and the goal here is to take the bonanza trail all the way to bonanza peak if we can i think it would be a 22 mile round trip On the way, we'll pass McFarland Peak and Divide Peak. If you want to see a little more about the Bristlecone Pine Trail Loop, which has an upper and a lower um, trailhead, then go to LasVegasAreaTrails.com and there's a page for the Bristlecone Pine Trail in the Lee Canyon area. <laughs> so if I'm still on Bristlecone Pine and I'm a bit out of breath, <laughs> it'll be interesting to see what things feel like at the end of the this 22 mile or 24 mile experience. But I'm hoping it's just getting adjusted to the altitude. We shall see. Anyway, this is a beautiful trail. Upper Bristlecone Pine. So here we go. Well, we've gained about 500 feet so far. Still on the Upper Bristlecone Pine Trail. You could access the Bonanza Trail either by the upper or the lower Bristlecone Pine Trail. I chose the upper for three reasons. One, because it's uphill all the way, which means downhill all the way back when I'm really tired. By the way, there's Mummy Mountain. And there's Lee Peak. And here's a good 360 of the Bristlecone Pine Trail at this juncture. And I believe that might be one of the sisters. Not sure. We'll have to find that out. And the Bonanza Trail should be somewhere in the, the gap there. We'll see. Anyway, so one of the reasons uphill all the way which means downhill all the way back a second reason is that i believe it might be a little shorter which once again gives us a little less distance when we're, we're have, we'll have traveled around 24 miles by the time we're done And the third reason is that I just believe this upper Bristlecone Pine Trail much more beautiful. Look at the trees around us. So those are the three reasons I chose the upper rather than the lower Bristlecone Pine Trail. So let's continue on now. Bristlecone Pine Trail reaches a high point and then begins to descend. And as it descends, it turns into a fire road. And this fire road will continue all the way to the lower Bristlecone Pine Trail. And there's Mummy Mountain. And Lee Peak. And this trail seems pretty popular with runners and bikers. And here we are, approaching the Bonanza Trail. Let's see if they've got any distances here. Nope. Oh, wait a minute. Oh yeah, 13 miles to the trailhead.
So that would be the trailhead at Cold Springs. And then you can see there's two miles to the upper Bristlecone Pine Trailhead. And I believe, let's look back at that, and then three miles to the lower Bristlecone Pine Trailhead. So it was a good choice to take the upper Bristlecone Pine Trailhead. Saved two miles on the round trip. And uh, we could take off about two to three miles from that 13. So um, we may be looking at about 10 miles to get to the, um, to Bonanza Peak, because we're not going all the way to the trailhead down at Cold Springs. Let's just do a quick 360 at this point. I believe we're looking at one of the sisters there behind the trees. There's Mummy Mountain. Lee Peak. This is a fairly well-traveled trail. A very nice trail. The Bristlecone Pine Trail. And it looks like, yeah, it would be about five miles from the upper to the lower Bristlecone Pine Trail head and and then you've got a mile between so you're looking at about a six mile experience if you're just taking the bristlecone pine trail but let's head up the bonanza trail here we go as a trail doesn't waste any time you begin with a pretty healthy ascent and switchbacks But very beautiful. <laughs> Mummy Mountain again. I believe one of the sisters. We're looking at the sheep range in the distance. Pretty awesome. Look at one of the sisters. And the sheep range. Let's take a closer look. It looks like this is maybe doable. Right up that area between the two edges. But we don't know. It could also be a lot of cliff action happening up there. There's a great view of the sheep range. Beautifully framed. And then through the, the trees, there's the main section of Mummy Mountain right up there. Here's another one of our switchbacks on the Bonanza Trail. So yeah, we have ascended about 800 feet from the upper Bristlecone Pine Trailhead. And no sign that we're um, starting to level off. Two peaks up ahead. I think this may be one of the sisters, not sure. And this could be McFarland Peak. But again, not totally sure. Anyway, wow, we have ascended about a thousand feet from the Bristlecone Pine Trailhead, and as you can see, there's a lot more uphill here. What a beautiful forest, though. 
a lot of bristlecone pines around. We are at about 93, 94 hundred feet in elevation. And going up. Let's see. There's a beautiful bristle cone right there. And another. I'm sure we're going to see a lot more of that. Okay, let's continue on up. Entering the Mount Charleston Wilderness. We've gained about <coughs> 1,100 to 1,200 feet. A lot of places to explore up here. Here's a bristle cone. ancient pines. That's one of the younger ones. I just stayed at Power Bar. I'm all choked up. Look at that beautiful bristle cone. Okay, onward. How beautiful it is up here. We're about 9,100. Feet, that is. Now the forest is entirely bristle cone. This has a real alpine feel to it. There's some flowers in bloom. But mostly the bristle cone pine trees. How beautiful. Very well may have taken a thousand years for this forest to grow to this point. There you can see Mummy Mountain through the trees. And then guess what? There's the ridge between Mummy Mountain and there's Lee Peak coming into view. It's about 11,300 feet there. We are at about 9,200 right now. And then guess what? To the right of Lee Peak, there's Charleston Peak. Unique perspective we have not seen before. 11,900 feet. And wow, it looks like the snow is um, pretty much off the trail at this point. Although you can't see the trail there, but if there's no snow where we're looking, chances are there's no snow just about anywhere. There's probably one snow field that you have to slog through that lasts sometimes till July on the edge of a big drop off. <laughs> it's pretty delightful, but we're not gonna hit that on this trail. We're continuing up the Bonanza Trail. What a beautiful trail this is. Here we go. Here's a little fork in the trail. I'm thinking based on the area and what I saw on the way up here, that this right fork crosses over to uh, McFarland Peak. 
and that the main trail continues on to the left. I'm going to do that and hopefully um, we'll continue on. Otherwise, maybe a little bit of a shorter trip and a discovery experience today. Continues to be bristlecone and extremely beautiful. And as I mentioned, um, alpine look, flowers, There's some Indian paintbrush. Charleston peek through the trees. Okay, onward. In search of McFarland Peak. Is this it up ahead? We shall see. Look at this area. Wow. We must be looking down into uh, Pahrump Valley. Who knows? More bristle cones. Beautiful rock formations. Very alpine. Got a mummy mountain. There's mummy's head. And then mummy's tummy. The summit. 11,500 feet. Let's continue along this trail. Bonanza Trail. Closing in on what I believe to be McFarland Peak. Here's a 360. barren and windswept up here. It's where the bristlecone pines start to make unique sculptures. Look at that. Onward. What a beautiful area. Here you can look back and see Charleston Peak. Look at the bristlecone pines all around us. And there's the valley below. I believe the town of Pahrump's down there. Then we circle around this way. And here's McFarland Peak. Wow. What an awesome view. Then more bristle cones all around. Another view of McFarland Peak emerging as the Bonanza Trail winds around. There's Charleston Peak, Dueling Peaks. Farland Peak. 
directly ahead. You can almost see the climber's route. I believe it is just in front of that huge rocky outcrop. And that maybe there is the gully up there, or maybe you go on the other side of the rocky outcrop. We are not sure, but wow. What an amazing mountain. I understand it's the most difficult mountain to climb, at least in southern Nevada. Let's get a 360. Here we are in the Bristlecone Pine Hill, and then an amazing view of Charleston Peak and Lee Peak. Lee Peak on the left, Charleston Peak on the right. Well, about halfway, no, three quarters of the way um, past McFarland Peak along the west side. It begins to, the trail begins to drop dramatically, about 500 feet to be exact. And um, just about at the end of McFarland Peak and this is the edge over here. There's a little trail that breaks off. We'll have to try it sometime. But there are some various possibilities for ascending McFarland Peak and oh we'll try a few of them at some point. This really doesn't look too hopeful, but who knows? The question is, what is this little trail for? If it's not, <laughs> if it's not some way up the peak, and maybe that's the gully that I've heard about, but we just don't know at this point. It, um, it deserves some testing and exploring and we'll do that at some point. In the meantime, here we are looking through the trees down at Pahrump. And then one would think if you look beyond Pahrump you would be looking toward Telescope Peak. And I just wonder if in the very dim background, that very shadowy um, mountain range there might be the Panamint Range and Telescope Peak right in the center of the screen. Not sure, but there's a possibility. Anyway, here we are, a little um, spin-off trail from the Bonanza Trail as it begins to descend dramatically on the far side of 
uh, McFarland Peak. And maybe this in the center is Divide Peak. We don't know. But this is going to be it for today. Taking the Bonanza Trail um, just to the far side of McFarland Peak. Beautiful, beautiful bristlecone pine forest. And a few climbing possibilities. Due to the altitude and wow, there's a lot of up and down. It's like climbing Mount Charleston twice. Um, due to that, I think I need to be in a lot better shape before I tackle the entire Bonanza Trail and do an out and back to Bonanza Peak from the Bristlecone Pine Trail. But in the meantime, wow. What a beautiful area this is. Totally bristlecone pines. By the way, here's where that little trail breaks off. And this is the main trail that you see. There's a switch back as the, and then another switch back up ahead. And you can see, wow, look at this. This is the, is the Bonanza Trail heading down the far side of McFarland Peak. And there's a low portion of McFarland Peak. Wow, it's just massive. And right at this switchback is where it's blocked off and that's where this little trail begins and i said we'll explore this at some point in the future but let's get another even better look at um Pahrump. and there we are Pretty cool. And then over in this direction, right in the center there, very faint. I believe that's Telescope Peak. So there's Pahrump in the valley. And then Charleston Peak would be up in this direction over here. From this perspective, you can't, well, no, I guess you can see it. Yeah, yeah, you see where the snow begins. There's Charleston Peak. And here is the Bonanza Trail, 500 foot climb, and then up, down, up, down. It's not like the Charleston Peak Trail, the Charleston Loop, where you go up and then you go down, basically. Here, there is a lot of ascent and descent. And when I say ascent and descent, I mean major descent <laughs> and ascent. As you can see, the trail going down um, I don't know that we have a view of Bonanza Peak from this perspective. Like I said, this may be Divide Peak here. Not totally sure. But we'll explore this and be able to nail all these landmarks. In the meantime, I just got to say this is incredibly beautiful and there's some good traffic on the trail so you don't feel like you're 
uh, totally isolated. So we're going to head back over to the Bonanza Trail. I'm, yeah, I mean the Bristlecone Pine Trail, and where we begin. Here we go. More of the rugged landscape. And there's Charleston Peak, Lee Peak behind the tree to the left. And we pan around over to Pahrump Valley and Pahrump down in the valley. And then in the center there, very faint telescope peak. So you get more of a perspective. And then the always beautiful bristlecone pine trees. And there's McFarland Peak. And then ascending back up the Bonanza Trail. Good view of Charleston Peak and Lee Peak. And you can see a good part of the uh, the loop. There's the ridge on the north ridge of Kyle Canyon. And then over to Mummy Mountain. So you can trace your way from Mummy Mountain along the Charleston Loop all the way to Lee Peak. And Charleston Peak. More bristlecone pines in just about every potential artistic formation you can imagine. Beautiful both in life and in death. Okay, continuing up the Bonanza Trail, back to Bristlecone Pine Trail. Not sure what this peak is, but you can see the valley below. This is on the Bonanza Trail before you get to McFarland Peak, which is would be to the left, other side of this hill. In fact, you can see just a, the slightest piece of McFarland Peak. Yeah, there we go. The cliff up there. And then we circle around and not sure what these are, but I do know there's a, there's some peaks called the sisters and that could be a good candidate right there. And then looking down this direction, beautiful shot of the sheep range. And then coming over this way, there's a full shot of Mummy Mountain, the main portion there with the summit, the head. 
to the left. And then as you look to the right of the summit portion, there is the north ridge of Kyle Canyon all the way up to Lee Peak and Charleston Peak. So there are some amazing panoramas here. And at some point I want to look for a way up from Lee Canyon to that north ridge and it looks like there are a few potential routes there. If you go right up through the those large washes provided that there aren't any dead end cliffs. So many, many routes to discover here. And of course, here we are in the alpine type atmosphere up here. There's the Bonanza Trail just below us. And here's where we began. So there you have it. Some amazing views and reference points. And a beautiful alpine type forest totally bristlecone and there's a better view of McFarland Peak from this location so add that to the points of reference at the split earlier I was wondering if it went up to McFarland Peak, and actually no. It just goes up to a high point uh, viewpoint uh, where you can experience some really nice solitude and see an awesome view. And the main trail indeed does head down to the left. So as I said, we were here um, earlier today and now we're Based on the knowledge that we have, we can say exactly what goes where. Okay, and circling around, heading down, and that's the Bonanza Trail. There is a shot of Lee Peak. At the base of that is Lee Canyon, which is our destination. Trail, upper trailhead of the Bonanza Trail. I mean, Bristlecone Pine Trail. So we head down Bonanza Trail, hit the Bristlecone Pine Trail, take a right, and uh, two more miles after that junction, we hit the upper trailhead. Here we go. Back at the upper Bristlecone Pine Trailhead. We didn't get a shot of this. Too many people at the beginning. So we're at the end. Here's a good 360. This is the area we covered. Then on back. Those may be the sisters, we don't know. But we do know that this is Mummy's head. And there's the main part of Mummy Mountain.
And then we're looking at the north ridge of Kyle Canyon between Mummy Mountain and Lee Peak. There is Lee Peak. And then back at the trailhead. And I just discovered they're doing ski lift rides. So that'd be a cool thing. Take the ski lift way up there. Look around. What a great ride. Okay, that concludes the adventure for today. Bristlecone Pine Trail to Bonanza Trail to McFarland Peak or at least the base of McFarland Peak. <laughs>